Now, don't you worry, Ma. I'll find a new home where they won't drive us out. One more home center that won't vote against us. Get on your horses. can't do that. It's against the law. But they've busted that law and a lot of other laws, partner. Get down. That's where the trouble is. Crockett City, sir? Yes. Most of the trouble seems to come from that part of the territory. Mails are robbed, banks looted, homesteaders driven out, immigrants turned away at the border. Just a bunch of tough guerrillas, eh? No, Tipton. Their raids and outrages are too well planned. They are operating all over the territory. Next month, Wyoming Territory votes for or against becoming a state. If the people vote to enter the Union, it means the end of banditry. This gang will stop at nothing to defeat statehood. You boys were born in Wyoming, weren't you? Yes, yes sir. sir. That's why I've given you the toughest assignment, Crockett City. This election must be conducted honestly. Our men throughout the territory will take their orders from you. You know what you're up against, Tipton. I understand, sir. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck, Bridger. Thank you, sir. Well, we're getting near the Wyoming border. And then the fun begins. Fun? Say, if I didn't know you, I'd think you didn't have good sense. Well, maybe I haven't. Then again, maybe I'm just fooling people. Well, boy, you better keep on fooling them. Because where we're going, government men aren't exactly popular. Better rest the horses, Moses. Yeah, sir. Whoa! <laughs> Better not stop too long, sir. We most clearly got away from the rest of the wagons. I can hardly see them. All right, Moses. It's a beautiful country, isn't it, Janet? Yes. But I'd so love to see just, just one house. Someday there'll be many homes. A great city. This is the heart of the new empire of the West. This is the great new country. Powerful words, Major. You like this country better than back home, don't you? Well, Sir Major Carter, Virginia is quality, but this place sure has quantity. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't we better be traveling, Daddy? We ought to catch up with the rest of the train. Yes, I think we'll proceed, Moses. Yes. Yeah. Well, is this where we split up? You take the high road and I'll take the low. And I'll be in Crockett City before ye. I'll size up the situation, but don't start anything. <laughs> Afraid I'll have the gang rounded up before you get there? Ah, go on. Say, what's that down there all by itself? Ah, it's no wonder these greenhorns get into trouble. I'm gonna investigate. So long. So long.
Who's that? Must be one of them bandits, boss. Perhaps it is one of those outlaws we've been warned about. Better whip up, Moses. Yes? All right, boy. Something scare you? Did something scare them? You scared them, you idiot. Do you make a habit of running around behaving like a wild Indian? Well, kind of looks like you're the one that's on the war path, miss. You folks crossing these plains alone? No, sir. We're traveling with the wagon train. Well, you better keep up with it. It's dangerous to fall behind. So we've discovered. Janet, dear, this gentleman saved our lives. After nearly getting us killed. <laughs> Well, we better fix this wheel. Give me a hand. Homesteaders. Let's send them back where they come from. Yeah, that'll be that many less votes. You folks better wait here. I'll go see what all the shooting's for. Hurry, Mose, fix the wheel. Yeah. The firing stopped. Hurry, Mose, let's drive on, see what the trouble was. <laughs> yeah. We sure run that bunch out all right. They won't be trying to homestead in Wyoming anymore. Anybody hurt? Yeah, creased the shoulder a little. Hey, look. <laughs> That's one we missed. Take a couple of men and run them off the way the wagons went. The rest of us will go on back to town. All right, Davis. those horses. Yes. Well, you're turning south, Grandpa. What's the trouble? They're trying to stop us from going into Wyoming. These folks are going into Wyoming. And don't try to stop them. 
Well, I say they're heading south. Help! Now, supposing you move south and keep moving. find ourselves once more in your debt, sir. Oh, that's all right. Are you folks going to Crockett City? Yes, I've purchased a newspaper there. Oh. Sight unseen. You've taken on a large order, haven't you, sir? I don't wish to appear ungrateful, but was it quite necessary to shoot that man? No, ma'am. I could have let him shoot me. Well, I've been of the opinion that most arguments can be settled peaceably. Well, out here, they still rely on their guns, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, there'll be one more star in the flag when this election is over. The star that represents the sovereign state of Wyoming. There can be no doubt about the outcome of the referendum now. The authorities at Washington have assured us that they will assign federal agents to this territory during the forthcoming election to ensure an impartial vote. That's what they want. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I take pleasure in introducing one of Crockett City's foremost citizens, Mr. Charles K. Plummer, Chairman of the Committee of Law and Order. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My good friends, I'm not going to repeat sentiment that you've heard from me before. Instead, I'm going to call upon a gentleman from Virginia who has assumed the ownership of our local newspaper, Major Carter. Gentlemen, Although a newcomer into your fair country, I am heartily in accord with your aims. Therefore, I serve notice that I shall attack through my newspaper all those opposing statehood. I'm not going to speak further at this time. You'll be able to read my thoughts at some length in the next issue of the Crockett City Blade. my dear. Positively inspiring. I'm going to set off a load of firecrackers in our next issue. A new state is about to be born. Another star added to the bright firmament of old glory. That's very nice. You should use it in your next editorial. My dear, you don't suppose I'm wasting those words on desert air, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Why, look what you're doing, you fool! Well, excuse me, sir. Now, leave me alone. Mose, Mose, you're only making matters worse. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm so sorry. That's well, quite all right, miss. No harm done. Mr. Plummer, this is Nana, sir. Well, you're quite well set, Major. Yes. My daughter, Janet. How do you do, miss? How do you do, Mr. Plummer? Won't you sit down? Thank you, I will, Major. Plummer is chairman of the Law and Order Committee. Well, I hope you'll excuse me. I have so much to attend to. Surely. I was about to start my editorial. That's just exactly what I came to discuss. I felt it my duty as a friend to point out to you that certain factions might resent a too pronounced stand on your part. I thank you for your solicitude, sir. 
But I don't intend to be intimidated by the lawless faction of this community. They're a very powerful faction, Major, and a ruthless one. In that type lies the power of the press. It can dethrone kings and make history. You know, Major, the last editor was standing right there when they shot him. Good day, sir. Colored man, when you all come to town, who is you, woman? I'm Mandy Lou, Mandy Lou Schaefer. I'm a mop up around this town. Is that so? What's your name? Moses Plubus Una. You're Baptist? No, ma'am. Ain't never been to church but once in my whole life. And then something terrible happened to me. No, what? I got married. Seems to me, Mr. Unu, you ain't exactly friendly to the only other person of the same color in this year town. I was just aiming at a nice chicken dinner at my domicile this year evening. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Tell me a good eating place around here? Nope. The hotel's bad, and the Greeks is worse, and the star is terrible. Thanks. The election is set for next week. Any fireworks? Plenty. An old fire eater named Carter started the local paper again, and his first editorial blew the lid off everything. Did it smoke anybody out into the open? No, they're too smart. Things are likely to start popping any moment. Well, you better wire headquarters. More men. And contact Smith and Belden. They're waiting at the log corrals two miles north of town. Right. Not yet. I was in hopes we'd get a tip as to when them government men were going to arrive. Shut up. Somebody send in a wire from the telegraph office across the street. It's in code. That means the government men are here already. What did I tell you? That must be the man. Well, I know what to do. No gunplay in town. The old man's getting a little bit careful now that the election is near. See you later. Government man. Handed me this package. Yeah, that's him. Remember, the old man don't want any shooting in town. Well, he didn't say anything about using your fist, did he? No, he failed to mention that. You boys get him. We'll follow the government man.
Pardon me. Hey, maybe this town ain't big enough for you, mister. Yeah, there's plenty of room outside here. Nice little battle, eh? Yeah, but the shooting's liable to start any time now. Sorry about your window, Major. Here I go again, wrecking your property. You seem to have an absolute genius for starting riots. So you're responsible for this? Yes. Why? You the landlord? I'm the city marshal. So I see. And we don't like troublemakers. Why don't you get rid of them? Or is the job too big for you? That's a right smart suggestion, young fella. I've got a good mind to start with you. Yeah? Well, start right in, Marshal. I'm warning you, young fella. Start anything again, and it'll be just too bad for you. It's a pity to see a fine young man like that, mixed up in a common street brawl. Fiddlesticks. I wonder if it would do any good if I would speak to him. You might persuade him to indulge in his brawls in some other part of town. Reckon you'll have to take that out of my next month's pay, Major. That's not the point, young man. My boy, no good can come of this continual brawling. The good books say you should turn the other cheek. Well, that attitude is perhaps a trifle extreme. in my office not an hour ago. Sent a message in code. The only sign is initials. Do uh, you know who he is? No. It's too bad. You see, he was your best friend. And the rats who did it have crawled back into their holes. We'll dig them out. We keep digging and blasting until we get every one of them. And the man who hired them. I wonder how they found out he was a government man. I'd give ten years of my life to know. It gets me how that gang can find out things. They seem to know just when gold shipments are going through. Wait a minute. Maybe we'll bring him out into the open yet. I want you to send this wire from Crockett City, Marshal. What does it say? Regret to report murder of Federal Operator Bridger. Definite clue to killers. We'll make immediate arrest. Bowen, Marshall. Figure somebody's on to us. Either that or the late lamented managed to write a message. Suppose they do arrest him. We can take care of that. Yeah? Well, you seem to forget that the man killed was a government operator, and that's a federal offense.
Don't come back until you hear from us. Don't worry. We won't. Station two of my men at the other end of town, in case the killer heads north. He's more likely to head for the Colorado state line. Where are you boys going in such a hurry? Why, we heard of a job down south punching cows. Job can wait. I'm taking you back to Crockett City to answer a few questions. You take that one! Now talk. Which one of you killed Bridger? I don't know what you're talking about. Did your partner do it? You got us all wrong. Yeah? This man for murder, Marshal. His pal just confessed. Good. He'll swing for this. I didn't do it. Davis was hired for that job. He can't pin it on me. Hired for it? Who hired him? I don't know. But you saw him shoot Bridger. Yeah. If that's the man's name. Well, John, looks like that wiretapping hunch of yours was right. Take him to the Colorado prison, Marshal. I'm heading back for town. Here, let me do that. I never saw a woman yet that could do a man's work. Besides, newspaper work's too darn dangerous for a woman. <laughs> Say, that's pretty strong, isn't it? The blade is fighting in the open, Mr. Tipton. Now you're talking like a real Westerner. Well, what have we here? Good. Hmm. Good work, Major. Keep it up. You've got a great paper, Major. We have needed someone to agitate against the lawless element in this territory for a long time. Thank you, gentlemen. You deserve it, sir. I'll see he does. <laughs> Fool's getting dangerous. Yeah. 
This never was a very healthy climate for editors. Hey, look where you're going, will you? Uh, you can't push me like that, you ornery coyote. Yeah, and you can't talk to me like that, either. Yeah, well, I'm doing it and getting away with it. Now, what are you going to do about it? Let me go. Just here. Here, here. None of that here, sir. Oh, uh, well, let me... Uh, uh, Those men to the marshal. Janet. Look after her, John. into a misery. You can't bring Colonel Carter back. Well, sure, my woman. It's Miss Jeanette that I'm worried about. Uh, this town ain't no place for a lady like her. I reckon you ain't got no right to worry as long as that long-legged cow punch is around here. That's just what I'm worried about. Suppose they might get married. Then where would I be? What's to hinder you from getting married yourself? What about Green and Ward? Well, the verdict was not guilty. Carter's death was a regrettable accident. Is it true, John? Yes, Janet. The trial was a farce. They've set them free. But they won't be free long. I uh, suppose you'll be going home. No, John. I'm going to stay here and run this paper. Oh, but that's no job for you. It's what Dad would have wished. Oh, at least close the office until after election. No. He had faith in this country, and he wanted to see it become a state. I've got to do my part in trying to make his dreams come true. Listen to this. Silver bullion, value $100,000, leaving Caber Mines Wednesday morning en route to Mint. Transporting bullion to railroad by covered wagon. Have small armed escort meet wagon train at Blind Canyon. I guess our boys can take care of that escort. You better go with them. But you'll need me in town for the election. You'll be back in time. I need all the silver I can lay my hands on to buy votes. Hey, 
Here's the escort. All right, boys, go down and take him. over there and hold them. We'll wait here. And what a surprise that wagon train is going to get when they find us instead of the escort. <laughs> what a surprise you're going to get when you find out there isn't going to be any wagon train. Drop your guns and get off those horses. Well, this is a pretty good haul. Doesn't mean a thing. I laid my trap for the brains of this outfit, and all we got here is the brawn. As long as the leader's free, he can hire all these gorillas he wants. Take him to border. Where are you going? Back to Crockett City. You get word to all the government operators throughout the territory to meet at Log Corral for final instructions. Be careful. The election's coming off tomorrow, and a lot depends on you. What gets me is that fella tipped me his gang, putting it over on us the way they did. You said he was a harmless cowpuncher. Well, I didn't know. Don't worry about it, Bob. When we've defeated this election, then we'll take care of it, too. <laughs> Another bunch of our boys coming in town to vote tomorrow. They're pouring in like this all up and down Wyoming. Our side will do the voting steal. We'll show them who's running things. Tell the boys the drinks are free. The lid's off. The town's theirs. It'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. Places are barricaded against the citizens. They'll show them how to run an election, eh? Yeah, let me get, get that government man out of here. Take him out of town and give him the same medicine you did the other one. I'll get the boys to take care of him.
chance to beat them. I want you men to go back to your own districts and organize every rancher and homesteader that you can trust. Then lead them into their towns and smash those barricades wide open. And don't stop shooting until you've cleared a way for every citizen to vote. Good luck to all of you. set in town. Under full control. All right, Bob, all right. Plus, Steel, never drink to better men. The government better rounded up all the ranchers. There's a posse headed for town. Armed? To the teeth. We're off the barricades. We gotta hold this town until dark. Drive every citizen off of the street and lock them in their houses. Thank 
is the same. Government men are leading attacks against us in every town. They can't amount to much. We're too strong for them. Go watch the barricades.
Richard was here to share it. 